What's going on guys, my name is Hovic and I decided to do a tutorial today on a transition I did in my last edit because for one, I got, I, I'm so happy because I got tons of good feedback from you guys as you can see I hit 1k views in 4 days and 42 likes which really made me happy so I want to do tutorial for that reason and because I want to stay active because I'm lazy and I haven't even started my next edit yet and I told myself I want to do an edit once a week which I know is not going to happen because it takes me longer than a week sometimes to edit but uh, anyways I'm going to probably start doing tutorials to stay active and to help you guys out with some things that uh, that I don't see a lot or maybe I do see a lot of tutorials for it and they're not very good or I don't think they explain it well I'm probably not going to explain it amazingly just because I don't usually do tutorials but I'll try but uh, I'm going to already assume that you guys know like a little bit of After Effects because this is kind of like an advanced transition that I'm going to show you how to do and I don't really know what to call it I'll probably think of something and you'll see it in the title but it's like a swipe by thing and you'll see it right here in my last edit right there right whenever uh, the gun stays there but the background swipes by I'm going to show you how to do that and I'm going to go ahead and go in After Effects so I'm just going to like I said I'm going to assume that you already know your your stuff or at least some of your stuff so that way you can follow along a little bit better but I'll try to explain it Either way, I'll try to explain it good. And let's just make it bigger. Okay, anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to make it so when he goes to get this kill right here, just like the last one, he's zooming out, and then the background's going to, the gun's going to stop and stay there, and the background's going to swipe by, and it's going to bring it into this kill right there. So that's what we're going to do. So let's start off right when he gets the kill. Like, let's do, let's say, let's do right there. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get everything to be a still image right there. So uh, let's just split the layer. So I can't I can't do the key. Usually you could just do Control shift d on PC to split or Command shift d I think on a Mac. But uh, when you have Camtasia open, what I'm using right now to record, it doesn't like it brings up something stupid when you try to do key. So I'm just going to go to edit and split layer. So I'm going to get the, uh, the split layer right now. I'm just going to drag this to the side. Just to get out of the way for a second and we're gonna go behind one frame and to go behind one frame you just do control left arrow or you can just drag it and zoom in and zooming in is alt and scroll in obviously if you already know a little bit about After Effects so we're gonna split the layer again because we want this frame right here the one that we're on right now to be the only one that's frozen so we're gonna go to edit again and we're gonna split the layer and I don't know how long this tutorial is going to be. I don't know like if I can upload 15 minutes yet. Yeah, I'm not sure. So now that we split this, we have this uh, this one frame that we want to be still. We have that isolated from the rest. So we're gonna um, we're gonna make it a still image. So we're gonna right click, and we're gonna go up to time, and then you're gonna click freeze frame. Now you're gonna get this thing right there, and that indicates that the frame is frozen. And now you're free to drag it as far. I mean, as long as you want it. So the frame's going to be the same for that long so I can make it if I want to I could drag it out for a whole second it would it's just going to stay that way so now that we have that we want the transition to last about like I would say hmm where is this at right now that's like let's say let's make it last like a half a second or a second to half a second so let's do about this long it doesn't really matter it, dep it just all depends on what you like and what you don't like so let's just say let's just make it that long so now we have this thing frozen and we're going to need one layer, one frozen layer for the gun that's going to be masked out and then we're going to need two for the background, one for this background and then we're going to use another background from uh from later from hang on. We need to now we need to find the uh the part where we want the transition to carry into. So we're going to right here is where we want the transition to carry over to. So we're just going to use we're going to do alt left bracket to cut the layer and that's where we're gonna go to so it's gonna be a, right here it's gonna stop and then the transition is gonna go by and it's gonna carry into this part right here and first of all let's make the let's duplicate the layer and we'll rename them to make it uh, to make it easier to follow along so this one this will be our layer for our gun mask so we'll just name it gun mask and masking is just a cutout but I assume you already know that because this is an advanced tutorial so we're gonna duplicate that and then we're gonna duplicate it again oh we had never duplicated it but let's duplicate it and to duplicate you do control D and that duplicates layer and you're gonna rename that to BG for background 
number one, and that's going to be the first background that swipes by, and then it's going to kind of fade into the next background. You'll see. So now we have those two, but we also need the second background. The background is what I what I'm saying. What the background is, it's everything but the gun. It's the stuff that's behind the gun. So we'll use right here. We want this frame, this first frame, to be the background that it fades into because we want to transition. So we're going to go like we did before, and we want this frame to be frozen. So we're going to do right click. Oh wait, not right click. We're going to click on that. Do edit, split layer, and we're going to go to the the layer that we want to be frozen. Right click, time and freeze frame and once again you're gonna get the thing where you can drag it out and you can just drag this over to where you want it we're gonna want it right there and make it as long as the other ones are so now we have our three things that we're gonna be needing we're gonna need we have the gun mask the first background and we're gonna rename this to BG2 and this guys this isn't that hard I might be explaining it hard but just try to keep on watching it and see if you can follow along I don't know if this is hard to uh, watch or whatever. So right now we're just going to make the opacity for this zero and to get opacity the shortcut is T when you're on the layer. So click T and then just make it zero for now so we can or you could just shut off you can make it 100 and you could click the I and shut the layer off for now until we end up using it. So right now we're going to go ahead and mask out the gun. So um, let's just go let's grab our pen tool click on the layer where it says gun mask that you named and this is where we're going to cut out the gun. So you're going to go up to the pen tool right here. And you're going to go right here and you can scroll it out with your scroll wheel on your mouse. And then click on your scroll wheel and drag to move it around. And alt, hold alt and scroll in to like zoom in on certain places. So we're going to, uh, we're just going to mask around this whole thing. It doesn't have to be perfect. I would try to make it like pretty good. But let's try to just go fast just for the sake of the tutorial because I don't want to take too long so I'm just gonna go through it really roughly but I guess you could spend a lot more time on it if yeah uh, if for your edit but this is just a tutorial and if you're making it like only like a half a second long you don't have to be that accurate it just has to be it just has to look pretty good but I'm just gonna go through this real quick and you just click and drag to make it like a circle and then this is where it's gonna kinda like lead off to this little point so you can just drag that and we're gonna click this next point and then drag it into a, whoops we're gonna click it and just drag it so it's rounded on the scope just mask around mask around his hand okay and then now we're just gonna go down and connect it so now we have a cutout of this gun right now it doesn't look like it's cut out so we'll just do fit up to 100 percent right now it doesn't look like it's cut out but if we do the eyeball so now you can't see their background so that's just the gun that part is going to be staying still like you saw in the transition so since that's going to be staying still we actually want the gun mask to be I think above this I believe actually I don't know I don't matter it doesn't matter I don't think so just put that back on so now we have to cut out the gun right there and we don't have to mask out the background because it's just going to go by